the destroyer <laughs> so um yeah andy ruiz got punched on by chris nightmare ariola for about three rounds until ariola started gassing out and and he started figuring him out it's quite funny um well as expected they were just talking about aj the whole way through everything was just all about aj 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 this lennox lewis even managed to sneak in the fact he felt like aj quit <laughs> in the first fight he even mentioned that before i think during andy's ring walk or whatever yeah we all, we all know what lennox is on anyways lennox Why? is a clown i don't respect lennox they were all trying to sell Andy like he's this new um, redeemed fighter like we're about to see some miracle in there. The fight started, Andy was doing his best Canelo impression. I was quite impressed with the head movement. He was, he was bobbing and weaving, bobbing, bobbing his head a lot. He was quite impressive. And he was, yeah, trying to take the trying to take the, the fight to Ariola, but letting his hands go, trying to punch on Ariola. Ariola wasn't having, he was returning fight here and there. Andy was struggling a little bit. The first round was quite close, but in my opinion, I felt like Ariola won that round because he he um he had the better of the exchanges. Round two starts. Um, Andy was still you know carrying on in the same fashion with his head movement, trying to press Ariola. Ariola was um we all know Andy. He likes to work off what you give him. So Ariola's strategy was just to you know not exchange much not give andy too much just wait for andy to punch and then that's when he punch he was punching with andy for the most part so yeah whenever andy starts to let his hands go ariola just returns fire and at one point andy tried to jab to ariola's stomach i think ariola caught him like his elbow and andy ducked down as soon as andy ducked down ariola just let a right hand go he caught andy on the temple a similar temple shot to the one andy caught asia with in madison square garden <laughs> quite similar position the opposite side of the head but it was quite similar the 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 spot it landed it was quite similar to what um andy did to aj where where Ariola landed on Andy. So yeah, Andy went down, he came back up and he was he, he was he, he wasn't that he wasn't that hurt, but you could tell he was, you know, he was he was a bit buzzed, but he wasn't out of it or anything. Yeah, he beat the count, he stood up and yeah, the fight continued. Round ended Ariola round ten eight. So uh, round three start <laughs> by this point Ariola has punched the, the head movement off of Andy. That Canelo impression is out the window now. Andy reverted back to type his old, you know. Um, but Andy was still trying to trade with Ariola at this point, and Ariola was still hurting him. It seemed that for like um, round two or round three, it seemed like everything Ariola was throwing and landing was hurting Andy. It was quite, it was quite strange to see. It was just weird because we haven't really seen Andy get hurt as much as he did in that fight consistently for about two rounds. It seemed like Ariola just had his number every time Andy tried to trade with him. So Andy adjusted by like round four, he adjusted, he wasn't trying to press the action as much. He was then letting Ariola come to him because at, by this point Ariola gained a lot more confidence because he seen that he could hurt Andy. So he was not then trying to take the fight to Andy, which was a bad idea, which meant he was reverting from his original tactics of letting Andy set the tempo. So Ariola was then pressing him and Andy was catching him a lot more frequently. He was just punching sporadically, you know, with his little fast hands. That's pretty much what happened for the entirety of the fight. Ariola's volume died down from around yeah around that round four is he, he wasn't throwing as much and Andy was Andy wasn't doing that much either but he was just doing about enough to win all the rounds so by around say round seven there was some weird thing where Andy punched I think punched um Ariola in his back and his elbow or something went out and yeah his hand was which is messed up and he wasn't really throwing that much he still was managing to throw the jab but you could tell that hand was hurting him he was asked by his his trainer joe goose and if the hand was hurt he said nah it was fine but he wasn't really he wasn't throwing clearly that was down to his his engine as well but 
you could tell the handles really hurt. So yeah, Andy was just doing about enough to win the round. Sariola's body was breaking down as the fight went on, but he still made it to the final bell. Horrible showing for Andy, horrible showing. Ariola was, <laughs> Ariola was talking his shit at the end of the fight. Did he win? Fine. But don't tell me you're only going to give me two, three rounds. Rightfully so. We all, we all, you know, <laughs> everyone was there was saying Andy was gonna knock him out this round, that round. I actually felt, um, I wasn't surprised the fight went the distance, but I thought Andy was gonna beat the brakes off him. That's what I expected to happen. But yeah, Ariola really, he, he impressed me. I didn't, ex I certainly did not expect a knockdown. That was a clear, clean knockdown. <laughs> Yeah, Andy offered him a rematch in the end and they're talking about Andy Ariola too. That's gonna be another fight on pay-per-view for you lot to cop you American folks. That's another pay-per-view for you to cop, get get prepared. Um are we all looking forward to that? <laughs> are you guys looking forward to Andy Ariola too or what's up? <laughs> One thing that's quite clear about this Andy guy, yeah, I think he's also got the the Joseph Parker syndrome where he's not He's not confident enough to be the man. He's always he's always gonna be some sort of underdog. I don't wanna say, but I was thinking it. Do you really think um he's gonna go back to the hard work and training after this fight? Or, or, or what do you expect? Do, do, do you, we not expect him to pile on the pounds after seeing this fight didn't go exactly to plan? Do you really think the whole weight loss, the, uh, um, the fat camp situation is he's gonna crack on with that yeah this whole new andy stuff what we're really buying that are you really buying that i don't think so i don't i don't i don't think so i think he's tried he's done his little um eddie renoso thing i think this whole thing is gonna it's gonna collapse eventually that's why i wasn't too much talking about oh andy's lost weight this and that first of all i didn't believe it but you know he did lose weight he did lose quite a lot of weight it's <laughs> fair enough but you're not supposed to be going into your fight camp trying to lose weight. That's just ridiculous. It's a fight camp. You're there to work in strategy, etc., not to lose weight. So yeah, I'm expecting the whole the same old thing to happen again. This is not no new Andy. He's gonna be the same old Andy. That's what I'm expecting. He's still gonna be a competent fighter. He can still put hands on whoever, but the blueprint to beam is out there. Ariola showed that. Joshua showed that. So did Parker. So, yeah, it is what it is. Anyways, put your thoughts down in the comment section below. Who is this Andy guy? What would you expect? Is he going to win another world um, title? Or is that it? Is it a rap? Is it another? Some people are calling him Buster Andy or whatever. Um, Andy Douglas or what have you. Is that who he is or what's going to happen? Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Like, drop a like, drop me a like. Subscribe if you're new here. Slap up the notification bell. Twitter, question marks UK. And I'm out.